Eyes Mr. New Mobile here, so here's some breaking news Samsung has accidentally posted the official image of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Thin Mystic Bronze Color and All Water. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. It looks beautiful. Way better than what I thought it would look like is the Galaxy Note 20 all drug because he can see a periscope, zoom camera lens like I said yesterday the camera rings are not shiny steel but rather look like macro back looks exactly like the leak renders including that massive camera bump in the top left corner that is home to several sensors anyway. I've already edited the video before these images pop up therapist talked about various leaked information about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra first uprising, never shared the screen protectors of the Galaxy Note 20 alterable the Note 20 and the 20, all trouble have a poncho cut out the differences. The whole diameter is good to be 1mm thinner than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Not only that but the bezels all over the front will be trimmed down indication of the relative sizes of the pool malls the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a bigger camera module because it's the only Note 20 that supports the periscope zoom camera of up to 50 Ericsson 108 megapixel camera note 20 on the other hand will feature camera specs similar to the galaxy s20 plus moving on he reveals one of the color variants of the galaxy note 20 ultra will be copper but he says it looks more like a pinkish copper like the site but importantly will not have a glossy finish but rather frosted mac glass out what's unclear is whether or not all the galaxy note 20 friends would have frosted glass or only some color variants if you ask me there should be some glossy color variants too so that people who like shiny stuff doesn't get left out. Anyway I see the process all the smartphones and tablets that Samsung is launching at the impact event will come equipped with the Snapdragon 865 Plus, an overclocked version of the 865, so these devices will be the first handsets ever to have an associate that can do over 3 GHz of clock speeds Apple's, a 14 Bionic chip, was supposed to be the first one to do that missing issue on the Galaxy Note 20, which is good news. But what's not good is that 120Hz refresh rate is unlikely to work at maximum resolution yet again. This isn't confirmed by the way I see the verse didn't say it's not happening, but says it's not optimistic that's not the case. One of the gripes I have to be a 20 Ultra if it doesn't support 120Hz at quality plus resolution of the Note 20 also doesn't support it. Then it takes to be one of the key features of the handset. I hope it isn't the case to get more information about this and will let you know whether or not the Note 20 actually supports also Samsung issued an update to the Galaxy S20 variants, improving the quality of the telephoto, cameras the 10x30, Accent 100 Exume has seen some improvements, is being rolled out the Chinese versions of the S20 phones, the global versions should get it, so also the price of the Galaxy. Watch 3 has been leaked as well. Evan Blass revealed on Twitter that the Galaxy Wiz 3 will be available in nine different configurations which includes titanium and stainless steel, and revealed that the price point will be between $400-$600 and significant upgrades compared to the original watch for the increase in price was expected. Also, these are going to be some watch faces on the Galaxy Wiz 3 and Samsung will launch while it's not confirmed yet that the images of the copper-colored phone are actually of Samsung's new flagship, they definitely do depict an unreleased Galaxy Note phone, with a camera array that features a folded zoom lens and a very similar design to the Galaxy S20 Ultra released earlier this year. The Verge has confirmed that the images do currently appear on Samsung's Russian website for the Galaxy Note 8 as the background for a section that reads Discover the Next Generation Note, which links out to the Galaxy Note 10, not a new phone. Given the mismatched colors, it seems possible that whoever built Samsung's site here may have grabbed the wrong assets and accidentally put up a picture of the next next-gen Note, the Galaxy Note 20 instead. There's other evidence that suggests this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, too. Noted Samsung leaker Ice Universe has tweeted that the Note 20 will be released in a copper color, and the design of the phone on Samsung's site matches the Note 20 Ultra case tweeted earlier today. Samsung historically has released its Galaxy Note phones toward the end of the summer, so a leak appearing in July makes sense, given the presumed August reveal for the phone S Pen accessory. In the past few years, the Galaxy Note series also had some of the most interesting and colorful designs. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 came in an aura glow color, which was one of the most iridescent and trippy colors I've ever seen. Thanks to new renders pulled from Samsung's own website, we now have our first official look at the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. In these new images, which appeared on Samsung's Ukrainian website, strangely enough at the bottom of the Galaxy Note8's product page, we can see the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in its full mystic bronze glory. From the render, we can see the new camera setup along with the bronze color and matching bronze S Pen. 
the new camera setup is rumored to include a 108MP main sensor, 12MP ultra-wide, and 13MP periscope zoom, along with a laser autofocus module. Samsung did add a new bronze ring around each sensor for a more symmetrical look. This color does seem to have a soft touch look to it. This would be the second Samsung phone with a matte finish, the first being the BTS edition of the Galaxy S20+. Plus. First tease this year's S Pen could be metal, which would explain the interesting look in the render. While we cannot see the display, we can see part of the curved edge. It's a very slight curve that looks about as large as the curved edge of the Galaxy S20, but a bit steeper. The display is rumored to use an LTPO backplane and be a 6.933040x1440 resolution panel, with support for a 120Hz refresh rate. It's also rumored to have a centered hole punch cutout like the Galaxy S20. All around, I think these renders look really good. Unlike the Galaxy S20, which came in some of the blandest colors of 2020, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is already on a great start with a symmetrical, nice-looking design. Hopefully, the rest of the device can hold up as well as the design. We'll hopefully learn more about the Galaxy Note 20, Galaxy Fold 2, Galaxy Z Flip 5G July 22 course with that being said, if you want to keep updated with all the latest Galaxy Note 20 news, then do consider subscribing. Samsung has just made it insane Group C as we speak. We had the official look up the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in the brand new copper gold color. For some reason this is on the Russian Samsung page and it's about the Galaxy Note, and when you scroll down we have this Galaxy Note 20 Ultra render like pretty sure the guy who's managing this will probably gonna get fired, but wow this, this is insane the next big Note phone in its full glory. As I said many times that the final thing is actually a lot better than the initial leak, and this is so true with the Note 20 Ultra this looks so much better than the Galaxy S20 Ultra, not only because we have more exciting colors, but just look at how great it looks with all the detail to the lenses in this copper gokil can't see that the camera bump has kind of fair brown do it, and then the individual camera has this gold ring, so that confirms that every Galaxy Note phone will have color coordinated range. So if you go for the green version you have those green rings around it, and really Samsung did Galaxy S20 family. The S10 is also color coordinated after sale looks really really good in this color deafening, and Cathy Note 20 Ultra in this very now as for the specification. This is what will you be seeing, on the Galaxy Note 20 Note 20 Ultra policy sensing, is getting the base go to the brand new 50x periscope, zoom to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra we had the main 108, maybe so. 81 sensor. This is similar to the Galaxy S20 Ultra, but now it is completely fair expands to the new autofocus assist sensor, on the side affairs. You can probably see the red thing on, the right hand side it's probably that and then of course, there's LED flash and the ultra wide angle lens. We also have some case lease regarding the Galaxy Note 20 and Noteworthy Ultra again. Further confirming that we indeed, have the big camera bob and the big camera gain specific for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra model or nobody, plus whatever the final they will be read the Note 20 cutout shows that the camera sensor will most likely be similar to the one on the Galaxy S20, so that you have in the Note 20 Ultra in his full glory. There's actually looks so, you can have the punch in the middle, and as display for the Note 20 Ultra read the normal Note 20 will get a flat display. The big deciding difference compared to the Luster model will be the 120Hz LDPO is the art and display that can be exclusive to the Note 20 Ultra also. We have another breaking news coming from China Stena certification, showing off the design of the Galaxy as the Life 5G, according to news source Samsung, maybe using the brand new ultra-wide angle camera sensor on the Galaxy for 5G, a bit different from the 10 megapixel of the original as the Flip, so it's a bit of a change there, and yeah more or less, it looks the same, but yet this is the easy flow 5G version it is, coming with Snapdragon 865, plus ship actually which is going to be in a lot of Samsung phones, like the 4 Duno 20 family, and even the Galaxy Daba 7 plus, so yeah, that's a heartbreaking news this what I wanted to cover really quick. Let me know your thoughts and comments or below what you think about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and X official look coming from sensors on website. I just don't understand. How can they make this kind of blunder? My next video, one piece out.